Shalom, beloved. It is where Shabbat Shalom. This is the third time I've tried to put this together. And the tape and the film is doing its own thing, but I'm going to try again. You know, scripture tells us that Judah shall go up first. Judah, Yah comes back for Judah first. Judah leaves first. And the reason that Yah comes back for Judah first is not to be bragging or boastful, but Judah is praise. Yah inhabits the praise of his people. The spirit of Yah comes in. Jacob blessed Judah, the blessing that Jacob had received. He did not give it to Reuben he, because Reuben laid in his bed. He did not give it to Simeon, nor did he give it to Levi because he looked at Simeon's and Levi's anger and called it cruelty about what they had done in the land of Shechem when they killed Hamer and Shechem for raping their sister Dinah. The blessing went to Judah. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's whelp. We know that Yeshua HaMashiach comes through the lineage of Judah. And for those of you who don't fully understand what Yahoo meant, or better spoken, to give you an example of the power of when Judah's praise goes up, when Judah roars, when Judah's prayers go up, the world heard Judah and the world reacted. And to show you what I mean, I am going to play when Judah roared, when Judah's praise went up. One of the things at the end of this video, there's a young man, he's praising. But you see, the news cut it short when he started to give the exalted name of Yahuwah all praise, honor, and glory. And that young man was from America, from the tribe of Judah. But we are going to see what did the world do when Judah roared. Demonstrations are taking place around the world to show solidarity for the protests in the U.S. In London, thousands of people gathered in Trafalgar Square with signs while chanting George Floyd. They then marched through the city, walking past the U.S. Embassy and the British Parliament. The demonstration defied the British government's ban of mass gatherings because of the pandemic. Police did not interfere. Oh, we've seen for hundreds of years black people and people of colour be absolutely abused and killed on the streets, and it's just getting worse and worse. We've had enough. And if they're not going to listen, we're going to scream louder and louder, and we're not going to stop until something is done. We've had enough. No justice! No justice! No justice! No justice! In Germany, protesters poured into the streets of Berlin chanting, Black Lives Matter and I Can't Breathe. Some demonstrations in the German capital have turned violent. Police used tear gas and rubber bullets to restore order. And more than 2,000 protesters converged on the U.S. Embassy in Copenhagen. The peaceful march wound its way to the Palace Square as demonstrators chanted, No justice, no peace. And a more subdued demonstration in Iran, where students held up signs in solidarity. The supreme leader of the country tweeting, if you have colored skin, are walking the streets in the U.S., you can't be sure you'll be alive in the next few minutes. That is the racism of America. In a time that seems chaotic, there are powerful calls for people to come together to make changes. We leave you tonight with some of those poignant moments and a plea from a young black man who is sharing his emotional message through song. I'm Robin Gill. Thank you for watching. Good night. Today, we're asking our community for peace. But I want to be very clear. We are not asking you for patience, and we are not asking you for pacifism. We're asking you to take that energy and use it not to destroy our neighborhoods, but to destroy the historic culture, 
to destroy the systemic racism. Black lives! Black lives! We lost humanity on that day. And what we're doing right now in these protests, in these moments, as we risk ourselves in this pandemic, is fighting for humanity. Will we use this as a moment to say that we will not do what other cities have done, and in fact, we will get better than we've been? And I urge you, and you know who you are, to think long and hard about what you can and should do to devote the passion and the energy that you showed last night in wreaking havoc in our city to doing something different with your life and your talents. I'm standing here because what I saw was my people face to face with this crowd and everybody's thinking, how can we use force? And if you think, and I'm not having it, I'm not having it. We're here peaceful. You have a right to be upset, be scared, and want to yell. I'm a young black man. Doing all that I can to stay all the when I look around and I see what's being done to my kind every day. I'm being hunted as prey. My people don't want no trouble. We got enough strong goal. I just wanna live. Yes, beloved, that last word that he said was, God, protect me. Yes, beloved, yes. That is Judah calling out. Yes, yes, yes. And so you see, beloved, as we continue, we know that no matter what goes on, Yah is ending this world of stress and strife. He's bringing it to an end. Now. As far as this eclipse goes, there was, as people are watching out for what's going on in the sky above, and they're making a lot of hype, and that's all shooting three rockets in the sky that day, and all of these things going on, and now they're talking about cloud cover. No man knows the day, no man knows the hour, no, not the angels of heaven, but only Yah himself, only Yah. And here I am in Pennsylvania today on April 5th, and there was an earthquake today, not April 8th, staring into the sun, today on April 5th here in America. There was. We're coming up with breaking news about an earthquake that has just jolted the Northeast. It happened just after 1020 this morning. There was some slight shaking here in Midtown Manhattan. Skyscrapers, including the one I'm in, uh, people here felt it, feeling it across northern New Jersey and Pennsylvania. There are reports that the epicenter was in Lebanon, New Jersey, strong as a 4.7 magnitude in some parts. I want to go right down to Al Roker now. Al, what more can you tell us? Well, Lester, a 4.7 earthquake uh, right now. And again, this thing, it's not that horrible. Right now, we're not getting reports of injuries or damage, but it did occur. We are looking at this earthquake that we are getting the reports that people as far north as Oswego, New York, up upstate New York, as far west as, as parts of western Massachusetts, as far south as New Jersey, and on into parts of western Pennsylvania, feeling this report, this uh, this earthquake of 4.7. The last time New York City had this kind of a major earthquake quake was August 23rd in 2011 uh, when there was a 5.8 earthquake is centered down in New Jersey, but we felt it all the way up here. But this one in southern New Jersey at a 4.7, as we continue to monitor the U.S. Geologic Survey at their, at their website, right now everybody's saying that this thing, there could be some aftershocks, but 
it is right now listed as a 4.7. Lester? Yes, beloved, yes. As we look, we know because y'all told us, and great earthquakes shall be in diver places and famines and pestilence and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. Great signs, beloved. When we talk about those earthquakes, okay, when we talk about those earthquakes, I keep losing my picture. I'm going to play this but one I, in I Japan. The earthquake rocked the entire island of Taiwan within the last few hours. Buildings collapsed and a tsunami formed off the coast. In the capital city of Taipei, tiles flew off of some buildings. Train service was suspended for 23 million people on the island, as was subway service. Taiwan's Earthquake Monitoring Bureau said the quake packed a magnitude of 7.2. The U.S. Geological Survey put it at 7.4. No word yet on any injuries. Yes, beloved. So we see that as people give these reports about things that are coming, upon the earth and we see in the book of Matthew and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity and the sea and waves roaring yes and for some men's hearts they shall fail them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. They shall be shaken, beloved. But you see, he tells us to watch in those days. He tells us to watch. This is a word, beloved, because one of the things that we are told, he shall come for Judah first. Judah will leave. This place. So while we're looking at eclipses, you know, I'm here in Pennsylvania and there was an earthquake felt. And I remember thinking that's not a truck. That's not a heavy truck going down the street because the floor is shaking. The walls are rattling. There's nothing. And it kept going, beloved. So no man knows the day. No man knows the hour. He cometh. Like a thief in the night, we give all honor, praise, and glory unto the exalted name of Yahuwah. This day and forevermore, we commit ourselves to him with full knowledge that all our salvation comes from him. We confess our sins. Father, forgive us and let the blood of the Lamb be upon us. And turn not away thine ear from thy beloved and hear our cry. Cast down this wicked world, for it will not let its prisoners go. It confesses not its sins. It is sinned against the great and everlasting Yahuwah. Bring us home, beloved, and let us be at peace as we watch and we wait. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, giving honor to the Ruach Kakadesh. Amen. Shabbat Shalom, beloved. It is a word.